Universal Interactive presents a turbocharged extravaganza by Vicarious Visions. Brace yourself for Crash Nitrocart! Hey, Nick Tana here with Crash Nitrocart. Eh, uh, let's go easy because I'm just in a chill mood. Fuck it, let's go normal. Alright. Let's go with the first cup, I suppose. No, let's go with this one because I keep looking at it. So, I'm going to play as Coco. <clears throat> Alright. So, yeah, I woke up and, um... Jungle Boogie? Uh, so I woke up... Ah, fucked it. Um, so I woke up, I originally, well, earlier I was going to record, uh, I was getting chest pains again, and I was like, oh fuck, great, this is just gonna be fucking fabulous, so I ended up stopping, like, everything I was doing. Put Golden Girls on, went to bed. Alright, let me redo this, cause, oh shit. Um, I ended up, lo like, Oh wait, this is not Diddy Kong Racing, what am I doing? Oops. But, um, put Golden Girls on. I, f I did sleep, like, at least two hours for one portion of it. Woke up, turned over. Uh, woke up, turned over, and, um... Continued to, uh, try to sleep again. Ah, shit. So yeah, no, it was rather nice to uh, wake up, and I was in that, I'm, I'm still kind of in that realm. Like, I woke up and I was like, alright, what am I going to do? And I was like, alright, slow down. That's what we need to do first. So what I did was, well, I pr didn't want to get on my computer right away, so I just sort of lied there, and, uh, or laid there, I should say. Lied there, laid there, um. And, uh, I was sort of just reflecting on a lot of things. And then I looked to see what episode I was at for the Furry Friday, and, uh, I was like, alright, I need to keep doing this, because I almost skipped it. And I was like, I already limited myself to, like, maybe, at my very least, two episodes a week for my uploads on my YouTube and, uh, oh, second. Um, and I just was like, yeah, no, I, I really do need to keep this up, like, a little bit, and plus, I have, I've had plans for the Furry Friday stuff going into October, and special plans for the 69th episode. Uh, uh, tiny. Um, And I just was like, okay, let's get up. What are we gonna play? I thought of our mellow, I thought of a few things, and I was like, you know what? Let me just hook up an old game and actually like vibe to some nostalgia. And yeah, we're here. <laughs> I remember I used to play this game quite a bit. Um, a family member of mine, same person who got me into uh, racing games, um, got me into Crash. Uh, I first played because um, I I remember being introduced to the demo on a Pizza Hut demo that came. It was it was a long time ago. It came like with a few games, but the Crash one I remember beating into the ground. And the fu no, Final Fantasy uh, VIII was on there as well. 
That was another one I beat into the ground. Like, just the, just playing the demo over and over again. Um, but, the Crash Nitro card came out, and I was like, you know, I kind of miss it. Like, the, the Crash Racing games. I was never really good at them. Um, I did know people that kicked my ass at them, but, uh, oh, I forgot I can just do this. That turn alone probably like negated any of that speed advantage that I just received. But I'm in first, so fuck that concept, I guess. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I remember I was trying to, um, cause uh, he liked um, now. I'll end the story here and I'll explain something else. Uh, he liked, um, the, uh, I believe it was the polar bear. And I remember playing this game, seeing the polar bear, and was like, oh, shit, I gotta make sure I, 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 I wonder if I can unlock it. And I was able to, and, um, I remember that was a, that was a fun time trying to unlock all the characters and see who was actually available in this game. Um, but... When I use the term family, I, I use that specifically as a, um, because for me, the concept of friend and family, like, I kind of merge them into one simply because, simply because the word friend, I feel people just tend to throw that word around, like, they don't really mean friend, they mean acquaintance, but they use the term friend. So, when I think of family, I think of like, oh, well, fuck, I have blood relatives that I don't even really get along with, and I, I have fucking, I've met people that are not even blood related that feel more like family. So the concepts of friend and family, I kind of merge into one. So, when I say family, or when I say friend, I kind of mean one or the other. It's, it doesn't necessarily have to mean a blood relative, to be honest. Because, like, the concept of blood relative just to me is very, very different now. Especially with friend as well. Because it took me uh, getting older and um, really just uh, removing a lot of toxicity from my social, like, social groups and who I associate with, who I talk to, and just really keeping my, um, my social interactions and, and, uh, circle really, like, tight nowadays, because, again, it really comes down to that family and friend aspect. Um, it's confusing in, it, it to explain because people, you know, have the a different idea of friend and family, but I just kind of just feel like they both kind of go hand in hand with me nowadays because they really are one of the same at that at that level to me. Like no one is better than the other is what I'm trying to say. And I'm sure many people have been relating to that, especially like when you're building communities, when you are, uh, when you have like your people you collab with on a regular basis and, and that. Almost. But, uh, you know, I learned, uh, pretty fast that there, there was, uh, a significant, um, difference in how people use friend versus acquaintance and how family, the word in general, doesn't necessarily have to mean blood relative. So, yeah, um, I'm kind of, like, muscle memorying a lot of this. Like, I'm surprised that I'm actually, like, like, I, I have not played this game in so fucking long. And at the same time, I'm like, Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, like, su surprised, like, what I'm doing myself. Like, I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm, like, doing story time. And fucking just doing, like, the little jump. And I got the speed boost. And I was like, why would I... I mean, I get in the, there's, uh, I get there's, uh... 
games where you can do like little tricks and stuff if you have like a jump mechanic but like when i think of like a, a car game with a, or a racing game not car game a racing game with um a jump mechanic it's this one because i remember having to fucking jump those fucking or pop the the um what the fuck happened there um i'm losing my train of thought i do like this level because of the clock theme though um Oh, I should have backfired that. Well, that worked. Who could it be? Very vocal. This one, like, holy fuck. Chatty. Oh, hello. Who could it be? Oh, fuck. I fucked it. I fucked it up. It's okay, though. I'm in third place. I cannot believe I almost fucked that up. That would have been awful. Oh, oops. Um, hello. Here you go. Oh. Well, that just fucking sucked. Oh, ew, God. Well, it's only the second lap. Maybe I can make a comeback. If I don't no fuck up. No peeking yet. How's the view back there? Oh. Damn it. I thought I saw a shortcut, and I was like, oh, do I take it? I didn't know if that was a shortcut or not, but I shouldn't have chanced it. Ugh. I think I just dodged a bomb and didn't realize it. Don't you fucking do it, dick. How's the view back there? With my card, I can't move. Oh, I'm risking it. Oh, uh, thank you for the boost. Thank you for the boost. No peeking yet. <laughs> How's the view back there? Okay. The view back there? Oh, I managed to pull that out of my ass. I was like seeing the Doctor Engine, and I was like, I I was thinking of fucking the Crash Team Racing, like the first one, and all I could think of was like, on for the Lord, like the fucking voice that he does. I managed to pull that out of my ass. No, no, what I what I possibly fucking unlock? Nothing. Alright, well, this is Nick Tana. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great week.